Hey, what is going on YouTube? Bora Games here. I wasn't planning on making this video ever, to be honest with you guys. I'm just kind of in the middle of nowhere right now. Well, not in the middle of nowhere. It's actually my uh, school um, back, back there. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know something that you guys probably never wanted to hear, and at least not from me. Or, I guess, from anybody. Um, I guess to uh, explain myself, hey, my name's Jack, Jack Boytel, owner of Aura Games. Uh, it's a gaming YouTube channel. I make gaming videos. I used to post, like, challenges and vlogs, but those kind of ended. But that's what I used to do here on the channel, if you're new here. If you're new here, I'm sorry. Um, this year has been one of the hardest years of my life. Last year, I met my beautiful girlfriend, Georgia, who's amazing. And, you know, she made me really happy. You know, from the start of the channel till uh, when she showed up, you really noticed a spike after she showed up of views and happiness levels and all that kind of stuff and just how happy I was to have her around. And it was just a good old time. It was just good to have her around. You know, she made everything better. You know, the videos did super good when she was around. Um... I guess for you people who don't know, I got kicked out of school this year because of my dad. And I was moved to this adult school over there. And that really brought my motivation down a lot. <sighs> this year has been tough. And it actually just probably reached its breaking point. Me and Georgia had our ups and downs. You guys saw that on Instagrams and Twitters and stuff because... I'd always kind of post things about us because I feel like you guys you know you guys want to be posted on how our lives are doing and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I wanted to live a life with her. You know, with vlogs and stuff, I wanted to make her super happy. And I, wanted to be hard, I wanted her to be part of something huge one day for YouTube. And everyone else who watches and everyone else in the world, I just wanted her to be part of that because I felt like she was going to be the perfect person to do that because she loved me. I did everything I could for her. Since day one, you know, I when I first met her, I felt really happy. Brought a smile to my face. I can actually smile after for so long, even though my smiles are ugly. And it just it felt really, really good to have her around. It was probably the best moment of my life, having her around. But I guess I'll break the ice now. I'm qu qu quitting YouTube. <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing to say, isn't it? I never thought I would actually post this video, and no, this is not clickbait. I'm actually quitting YouTube. I, I know that comes as a shock to probably most of you, and I honestly never wanted to quit YouTube. And you know, since having her around, she really brought my motivation up to the max, to wanting to post the best videos I could, you know, move out live stream. And, you know, in a couple of years, move to L.A., get some vlogs with her going on, challenges, maybe, like, weekly challenges and stuff. Uh, she finished up high school, and it's going to be a good old time, get a husky, together, all that kind of stuff, and then just kind of live out the whole YouTube life. And I wanted her to be part of something big, which you guys don't know about, but it's going to be something huge for you guys to smile and always keep positive the best you can. For some of you that don't know, the reason I make YouTube videos is actually to make you guys happy. Making people happy has always been my motivation in life because my life is a total mess. My life is probably one of the saddest lives compared to people who, you know, die as a baby or die at a young age and bus crashes and stuff. My life is not really something you would want to live or it's not something you want to be happy about. You know, just because I make YouTube videos and I seem happy, that doesn't mean my life is anything but bad, you know? So everything you see on the internet, you always... Always take with a grain of salt if they're actually okay or not, because people can just lie instantly. And you'll you'll have to buy it because, well, you think they're fine, but really they're they're not. And my life is something that isn't the best, honestly. I get everything I ever loved taken away from me, and well, in case you guys don't know, I actually just lost Georgia forever, pretty much. She, uh, in case you guys didn't know, back in June, most of you should know this, but back in June... Uh, she wanted me to come to London to make her super happy. And I was like, hell, that's a great idea because I could plan an early one year going to London for our August thing in July because that would have just been, you know, an amazing time and it would have made her really happy. 
And then she broke up with me, even though I was actually doing what she wanted me to do. And I love this girl with all my heart, even though she did the things that she did. I love her more than anything. Now, what's the reason this year was so hard? Well, my dad moved in, got kicked out of school. Now I'm here. I was bullied a lot in school. I had to take acne pills, Accutane. I completely lost my mind using those. Within the first month, I wasn't able to think properly. And I still made some videos, and I seemed fine, but Georgia finally caught on to like, hey, you need to stop taking these, something's wrong with you. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it controlled me. There was a side effect where it like, gave you mood swings and all that kind of stuff, but there was a bigger side effect where it like make you super depressed and stuff like that, and it basically took over my mind. And you know, when talking to Georgia, it seemed like I don't care, when honestly I care about her more than I care about myself. And now she's gone. And why am I quitting YouTube? Because she's gone. I did everything for her, and I know sometimes I'd screw up. We all screw up from time to time, you know? Sometimes it seems like I didn't love her, but honestly, I loved her more than anything. And I care about her more than anything, and I love her family, I care about everybody in her family. Okay, well, mostly everybody, except for the bad people. I don't like, I don't like the bad people. But I love most of them. And she's a beautiful girl. You know, she's nice, kind, sweet. And now she's gone. So, what does that mean for me? It means I'm done. I never wanted to quit YouTube, and I was actually going to move out and start streaming and stuff. And I wanted to make videos of her and stuff like that, and then I was going to move to L.A. in a couple years. To uh, go to her grad and all that kind of stuff, and also, you know, make videos with her. And it was just going to be a good time, because after that we were going to figure out life. But, uh, the thing that you guys don't know about is... Well, you, you probably heard me say it before if you're, like, my friend, but... Dreams come true, but don't forget nightmares are dreams, too. I hardly have dreams come true. YouTube was a dream of mine, and now I'm quitting. You know, I never believed in love, and then Georgia came along, and I'm like, you know, I really love her more than anybody, and I never want to find anyone else other than her. So I took the shot, and look where it got me. It got me to the point where most love gets you, because love is just so rare nowadays. You make one mistake and they're gone. Or you don't love too, you don't love enough and they're gone. Or they cheat on you because you're not enough or you're just not around at all. It just, it ends, like, it just ends so fast. You know, love is so rare nowadays. People with hearts are so rare nowadays. Go ahead and add this to your uh, top five saddest moments of YouTubers and whatever, I don't really care. Um. See, I'm quitting YouTube because of, well, she's gone and I basically have no motivation. Again, the reason why I was doing YouTube is to make everyone happy, more happy than I can be, because I, I can't really be that happy with everything that happens in my life and the fact that I lose everything and all my nightmares come true. And another thing you guys are probably not going to believe me about, but a lot of dreams I have come true. I had a dream about meeting Georgia, that came true. I had a dream about her dating the dude she's dating now, like, before she broke up with me, and that happened. You know, I had a dream I was going to grow on YouTube. That's probably not going to happen. You know, I had a dream I was going to get kicked out of school. That happened. Most of my dreams come true, and I don't like it. It's kind of scary, because it's like I could tell the future, but I don't think anything about it. And then when it happens, it's like, oh shit, I forgot about that dream. And I just don't want you guys to end up like me. I don't want you guys to end up in a rut that's deep and dark and you don't know what you're doing in life. That's why I do YouTube, to try and make everybody happy. I earn the best I can. I know at times I have my moments where I'm depressing as well. And that happens, because we're humans. And frankly, I hate humans, but I wanted to make all of you guys happy who watched my videos. As we grow more and more, I wanted to make you guys happier and happier. <laughs> well, I just, I can't, I don't have the motivation. Since she's gone, I, I just I give up. I always say don't give up. Chase the things you love. That doesn't mean you're always going to get it. I always kind of sugarcoated everything to make people happy. You know, chase your dreams, do whatever. I never really explained how. It might not work the way you want it to. But if you love it, nothing should stop you from going for it, right? Nothing should stop you. And I was actually going to be going to L.A. this week. 
to give her something and her mom and dad something as well to make them happy. I, I wasn't planning on getting her back. I just wanted to make them all happy and kind of not leave the way I did. And this is all because I wanted to plan an early one year anniversary like she wanted me to. Well, she wanted me to plan an early one year anniversary. She wanted me to go to London to make her super happy. But this is all because I wanted to make her happy. And I guess now she has someone else to do that. So I'm quitting YouTube. I'm probably still moving out. I probably won't be streaming. I don't know. I really love doing YouTube, but right now I don't have the motivation to do anything. I'm actually probably going to go home, get my bag, and literally sleep on the streets. Because I, I, just, I don't want to be around a lot of people right now, especially my dad. I just want to be, like, alone. Uh, outside, I guess. I just... I give up. I'm sorry. I know you guys didn't ever want to hear that, but I just... My life is not something that's really all too good. I know, I'm crying. I'm sorry. Just ignore... Ignore the tears and bad voice cracks and whatever. I just... I'm done. I'm done. I can't, I can't do this anymore. I, I just, I lost everything I am. This year, this one specific year, I lost everything I am. I lost every single means to be happy. You know, I lost most of my friends. I got kicked out of school. I lost the love of my entire life, who I honestly love more than anything, and now she's gone. I lost everything. And I don't want you guys to see me suffer. <laughs> That's why I'm quitting. Because I don't want to post videos of me just sounding super sad or crying every fucking ten minutes or whatever. I'm sorry. I just, I have, I, I, I don't know what to do. Sure, I'm young. Stuff happens to young people, right? Because we are millennials and apparently we are the ones who get it the worst. Because our emotions are just everywhere, I guess. But I'm a wise dude and I just want to make her happy. Just want her in my life. Because she kept me where I needed to be. Now she's gone. And she also broke open the bottle, because you guys know what the bottle is? It's when you keep all your feelings inside, all your angers, things people said, everything that pretty much happens in your life, you just keep it all inside instead of letting your anger out or your sadness out by crying in the middle of nowhere and stuff like that. Don't, don't ever make a bottle, please, don't make a bottle. It's the worst thing you can ever do, because you will be so torn up, you know, that the littlest things that happen in your life, because all those emotions will want to come out at once. Don't do the bottle technique. Never do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth the time and effort and just stress and just... It's not worth it. Don't don't make a bottle, okay? Let your feelings out as much as you can. Don't keep them all in. Because once the bottle has to break, you're gonna break down and get really angry and really sad all at the same time. Like I did. And I did things I don't remember doing that night. And I said things I don't remember saying. Until I passed out, and then I woke up, I'm like, holy shit, did I actually do all that? It's just... I lost her. I lost my motivation and pride to do anything. Will I find someone else? No. Do I want to love anyone else? No. She was the only girl I wanted. I don't want to love anyone else anymore. She's gone. I'm just, I'm done. So yeah, I'm quitting YouTube. I don't know if I'm maybe posting stuff on my Instagrams and Twitters, but you guys can... Follow me at the links down in the description if you want to. I want to delete my channel, but I might come back. I might not. I don't know. YouTube is what I love to do because I love making you guys happy. But right now, I can't be happy. I have no happiness left. Everything is just gone. And I'm sorry that has to happen. I never wanted this to happen. I know I'm just repeating myself a lot. I'm sorry. Just, I'm sorry, okay? I, I've given up. I never thought I'd give up. But I knew the day she broke up with me when I tried to make her super happy like she wanted. I knew I wasn't going to be the same. And what does this mean for my actual life? What does this mean for my body, mindset, and everything? Well, I'm basically not going to be Ori Games or I'm not going to seem like myself from now on. Which is sad to say. She kind of, you know, brought myself to me. If that makes sense, she basically restored me, I guess. Made me myself, and then when she left, she kind of took me with her. So now I'm just kind of left with the whole bottle person. Who, as some would say, is the dark side of people. Or the depressed side, you know, stuff like that. And this is not a series, this is not a joke, this is all truth. Because I never lie to you guys, I never lie to you. I don't like lying to people, I hate it. 
Because I'm just, I just want to be a good person, make people happy. But I lost everything in my life. I lost my mom. I lost most of my friends. I've lost family. I've lost homes. And now I lost the one thing I wanted to keep forever. And with that being said, nothing lasts forever. And I never wanted to say that to you guys, but nothing lasts forever, okay? And the reason why I'm quitting is I don't want you guys to see me as the dark, depressing person that I'm going to be. Because I'm hardly going to be eating at all. I'm going to be staying up. I can't sleep at night because ever since June I've been having nightmares every single time I try to sleep at night. So I'm obviously not going to be sleeping at night. And with that being said, I probably won't be able to make it to school on time. So I'm probably going to get kicked out or I'm just going to drop out of school because of that. So... It's safe to say this year kind of ruined my life entirely. And don't blame her for this, okay? This is not her fault. Everything is my fault, okay? If anything I learned in life, everything is my fault. Everyone blames me for everything, so just blame me for everything. You know, if your cat died, my fault, you know? Whatever happens is my fault, good or bad. I know this is long. I'm sorry if you guys watched all the way to this. I appreciate you. You guys must really care. I don't know if you guys want to try and help me. You guys probably can't band together to help me or anything, but I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. I can't, I can't keep doing videos. I can't motivate myself. I can't focus on anything. Because she was always the one to help me. Since I met her, she was, just made me super happy. And she said to prove myself, to prove that I'm the only one that can love her. And I'm tried to do that. And obviously she already moved on. She said she wouldn't, but I already knew she would. Because I had a dream about it. And I know how love works, and love just, just moves on right away. So I'm sorry for making this video. Sorry for ranting and repeating myself. I'm just, I'm done. No more videos. I don't know if I will be uploading any more at all, like once I move or something, I'm just, I don't know. I'm probably going to be sleeping most of my life away, I suppose, now. If any family sees this, you know, I'm sorry, but I, I just, I can't. I don't care how many of you try to make me happy, I just, I can't. She's gone. I don't care if I'm young and there's always other people out there, I don't care. She's all I wanted, and now I want nothing. I want not, I'm done, okay? So with that being said... Make sure you guys ch keep your chin up, your head up. Make sure you guys throw in a smile and keep on walking when life gets tough, okay? Just keep on pushing through the hardness because you guys are beautiful. You're one of a kind. And you should always smile more. <laughs> Just don't, don't become me, okay? I wanted to make you guys happy so he didn't become the person I am right now. So, make you guys chin up, smile. Don't cry. Everything's gonna be fine for you. And just smile more. Because you got a whole life ahead of you. And as for me, well, this is where my story ends, I suppose. No, I won't kill myself, but this is where I'm done being me. And I'm sorry. And if I do come back to making videos, probably shouldn't trust me. Probably shouldn't trust me. I'm just doing this so you guys can't see my tears. Well, with that being said, I'll see you guys whenever I guess if I keep doing videos. I probably won't. I just want to be gone. You know, I just... I hate to say it, and I don't want to see it happen, but I'm going to become a different person. Because that's what happens when you reach a point in your life where you lose everything. You let the dark side of you come out. And everyone has a dark side. It's part of our anger and sadness. That when they combine together. So I'm basically going to be a, a, you know, a sad, depressing kind of kid. And honestly, I probably might drop out of school because I just have no motivation anymore. Yep. I'll see you guys whenever. Yeah, you guys are beautiful. You're one of a kind. Smile more.